Greetings and salutations, this is Hugh Joss! And it's Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's to everyone out there! Hope you've found your loved one and shown them how much they mean to you. Speaking of people who show they mean something to you, Joey Rocha has released a video. But before we get into that, let's remind us of what Joey and I have together. Hugh Jars says, do you love Hugh Jars? Oh, yes, I love you. I got We got some um, some super chats. We got Hugh Jars. Do you know Hugh Jars? I love Hugh Jars. <laughs> you got a fan there, Hugh. That last clip was from MC Toon's channel when Joey was on there. And Joey said that he changed his ways. Yeah, I've been banned on YouTube, so now I have a new, new YouTube account that I just started, and it's called Joey Rocha. Joey, I could have... I could have told you you were going to get banned. <laughs> well, you know what? Here's the thing about it, McToon. I learned my lesson. I was too offensive, and, I, and I've learned my lesson that you shouldn't be so offensive. Like, you you should be more I, – I actually have learned a lot from you. You're, you're fun going. You have a good time, and uh, you don't take it so seriously. It's not the whole world. It's your opinion, and maybe you're wrong, and maybe you're right, and you're just expressing your view. And I used to take it so seriously like it was like my, my whole life. And now I realize it, it isn't my whole life. Now, of course, I was skeptical. He said some pretty awful things in the past. Uh, Apophis Rex, he's not a good guy. He reveals, he revels in the blood of kids shot dead in school. Yes. I had forgotten that was his stance on uh, on those 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 events. And that is that is not, not a good thing at all. So, But maybe, you know, I like to give people the benefit of a doubt. So maybe he has turned a new leaf. Then he released this video. Chemtrails and uh, the turbine engine um, conspiracy theories. I'm going to debunk them for everybody right now. My proof of this is going to be explained using science. And how I learned the science was a friend of mine who's a mechanic of over 28 years, air, airline mechanic. And before that, he was a car mechanic for his whole life. And he's a good friend of mine. And I asked him about chemtrails and the turbine engine conspiracy theory. And uh, he actually debunked him for me using science, so I'm going to repeat what he said. He didn't want to go on an interview, so I'm going to do it for him. So airplanes are ran on kerosene anyways. People didn't know that. I didn't know that. So debunking the turbine wind engine uh, conspiracy where it starts off on gas or kerosene, if you didn't know, it's low-grade kerosene. And then it moves, uh, you know, and, and then it, 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 uh, it flies off that. So the engine that it uses too, even though the outside looks very sophisticated, is a very old school engine. It's a very old school <laughs> engine and it's very efficient engine running off kerosene. And another thing too is kerosene is very cheap. It's extremely inexpensive. The, the lowest grade of kerosene, I forget the name of it, but it's the lowest grade of kerosene, so it's super cheap. So airlines are only charging you for their gas. So legitimately, you can track how much gas they're putting in the general air mileage for these kerosene uh, air engines, even though you call them jet, you call them whatever you want, they're running off kerosene. That's what jet fuel is for these airplanes that we're seeing in the air. They look sophisticated and they are, but they're still running off of an old technology of similar to how diesels are, are slightly uh, less than a gasoline car. So speaking of diesels, you know how they release that black smoke? Well, the same thing with the chemtrails. The chemtrails, when we see those chemtrails, they're real, they really do expand, they really do look like clouds, and they really are the byproduct of the high altitude, certain areas catches that white color, which is like a, turns into in the high atmosphere, it takes all this carbon monoxide, and it turns it into ice crystals that uh, form together, making a cloudy looking appearance, it expands and then dissipates and goes away. So the reason why nobody ever made a big deal about chemtrails dropping acid rain or being, you know, whatever, is because it really wasn't anything. And my goal is to debunk not only the Mandela effect, not only chemtrails, and not only the turbine wind engine uh, conspiracy theory, but any conspiracy theory that actually turns out to not be true. Because in the truth community, we have to focus on things like the coronavirus hoax. We have to focus on things um, like what's going on in real life that we can actually affect and prove and change and not muddy the water with things that actually are debunkable that makes not only makes us look like a joke in the conspiracy world, but also is wasting our own time on things that we could be fighting against that are really true. Now just take a moment to digest this. Here is a guy, a conspiracy nutter, a flat earther, saying that chemtrails are fake and it's a hoax. This is exactly what we in the debunking community have always wanted. 
one of these conspiracy guys to change their mind and realize that they've been lied to and that the real lie is the lie that they've been told that there's a lie. And it seems in Joey's case, all that needed was someone he trusted to tell him the truth. Now, I'm not an aircraft refueler, but my dad worked for Qantas. I've worked for Qantas. And I've always been aware that kerosene or jet fuel, Avgas, is what airplanes use. I would have thought most people who have walked out onto the tarmac when they're boarding an aircraft in that way instead of through the aero bridge would have smelled it. The whole conspiracy that they run on electric power instead and fill the tanks with chemicals to mind controllers all seemed utterly ridiculous to me. And it seems that Joey has seen reality, which I can only encourage him to keep doing. He says he's a truther and I can confirm that in this case, he's found the truth. And it's pretty easy to verify. It's sort of amazing that it ever became a conspiracy at all. And while Joey seems to be hanging on to the COVID conspiracy and moon landing and flat earth and things like that, I'll just remind everyone that Seek Truth, Speak Truth thought something was going on in Antarctica, even though he realised that the Earth wasn't flat. I feel a little bit embarrassed, to be honest, because I genuinely feel like I'm a good guy and I want to continue this and try and help people. Um, I still love conspiracies. I'm still going to talk about them. Antarctica, there's still something going on there. Hidden land, I don't know. But th th there's still a lot going on that I hope that will interest you that I'd like to talk about. And now he doesn't believe that at all. And he's certainly moved away from all those conspiracies. Maybe this is the gateway reality for Joey. And I think we should all encourage Joey to keep moving down this path to be a real truther and not just a conspiracy nutter. I personally feel Joey actually isn't a bad bloke. He's just been led astray by people who got in his ear and controlled his mind. It's never about what people tell you unless you can verify what they say to you. And it's really easy to verify that jet planes use kerosene or avgas for fuel and that the wings are actually full of it and not some strange chemical that, for some reason, if you put it in the atmosphere, controls millions of people. It's just a ridiculous conspiracy, that one. So I encourage you, let's give Joey all the encouragement to keep going down this path. Get over to his channel and subscribe. Leave a comment supporting him in his push for reality. And Joey, if you watch this, I'm always willing to help you figure out things. Because I've got a feeling I know a lot of things that you don't, and I don't say that to brag. But that's why you've fallen into the traps. And I'm pretty sure I can help you out of them if you want that to happen. But the problem is, you have to want it to happen. If you're a true truther, please contact me. Joey's link is in the description, as is my email address. The Corgi's warming up. So if you like this video, click the like button. It really helps me out. As does leaving a comment. And if you'd like to see more of what I do, click the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you get notified of future videos that I put out. And if you really like what I do, please show your appreciation by buying me a cup of coffee through the ko-fi.com website. It's a one-off donation, which I very much appreciate. Many thanks to everyone who's done so, so far. Some of you have been very generous, and I'm humbled by your generous donation. There's a link in the description of this video for that, and there's also a link to my Discord server if you'd like to join there and have more interactions with me directly. So there's nothing left to do but cue the corgi. Hugh Jars says, do you love Hugh Jars? Oh yes, I love you.